Hey guys, Pitmaster here. I'm here to show you a new hook. Yes, imagine that. This one I call the pullback hook because you're 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 consciously pulling away from your opponent. So you might have gotten your face, or maybe he had a grab or whatever, but you're pulling away from him. So like if he's facing, right? He's facing six o'clock right now. You're six o'clock. He's my 12 o'clock. So you want to kind of fall straight back your face, okay? So you want your face to come back first because that's the first thing that he's probably gonna hit you with. And it's the most dangerous thing to get hit with is on the, the chin. So you're trying to pull back, create space, right? And while you're doing that, you're leaning on your back leg and that gives you optimal power for the left hook, right? Because when you throw that left hook, you want your power shifting, your weight power, uh, your weight shifting to your back leg, okay? Gives you more power. Just like when you swing a bat, you, sh you shift the weight to your front leg. When you throw a pitch, you shift the leg to your front leg, right? The opposite side. So that's what you're doing here. You're leaning back and you're throwing that hook. Okay. Now where you step, that can determine a lot, a lot. But right now we're just gonna do the neutral four o'clock. Step back and then you turn around and face your, your attacker again. So I'm leaning back, leaning back towards six o'clock, my six o'clock, right? And while I'm doing that, I'm shifting my weight to the back leg and I'm putting the hook right to the chin, okay? Seeing it out of the, the corner of my eye, but boom, as soon as the weight hits that leg completely, you step to a four o'clock, right? Because if you're facing the clock, it would be 12 o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. So I'm leaning back, hitting, and I'm stepping back one step, and then I turn around, re-engage if I have to, right? Maybe I wobbled them, maybe I gave them a little concussion. Then I'm gonna decide if I wanna get the hell away and that's my best choice. Or if I want to attack them with a killer instinct or animal instincts because they're hurt. When someone's hurt is an optimal time to stop that threat right there. It's, it's not illegal to do that because they're still going to be a threat, right? But then you want to stop them from being a threat. So you attack them while they're wobbled. You see a lot of fighters, as soon as they see their opponent hurt, they go after them because that's the opportune time to try to put them out of their consciousness and win the fight and win the title. For you or for us, it's we see them a little wobbly. We want to go in, killer instinct, and we want to stop that threat, right? Our, our, our goal is to stop that threat so we can get home to our families, okay? So that's what we're trying to do. That was a long explanation. Sorry about that. So anyway, the... the Pull back hook, bing, shift your weight to your back leg, take a step out, and then turn around, hands up, re-engage if you have to, right? Again, I'm gonna show you this. Pull back, bing, pull back, bing. Now I'm here, what am I gonna do? I could go back in, re-engage from there, but this is the pull away hook. I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to create distance here, so I'm gonna pull away and take advantage of that. And now I've re-engaged, I can reassess the situation. Do I go back in? Do I pull a weapon? Or do I get the hell out of town, okay? So that is the pullback hook, guys. Practice it with a bob, best, or with a, with a heavy bag, second best, okay? But you wanna get that pullback first, your face out of, the, out of their harm's way as much as you can, so you're almost leaning back, you are kinda of leaning back, but you're throwing the hook at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna do that a few times for you guys. All right guys, thanks for coming. Practice that and you'll thank me someday. All right, thanks for coming guys, stay safe. Don't let anyone take your lunch money.